Hello everyone, I'm Mike Reddy and in these videos I will cover uh, MDVS 1.1, my VJ patch bundle created in VVVV. The basic concept of MDVS is uh, getting, uh, capturing windows, capturing multiple windows and mix them together. Also, uh, for content. Uh, there is MDBot, which is a frame server, or yes, we can say it, frame server. It basically sends a shared texture to the mixer and uh, outputs it for the and the mixer outputs it for the audience. Um, let's just see the whole stuff in practice. Uh, oh yes, before starting anything else. Uh, there will be some latency in the audio and what you will see uh, in the you know, in the sound reaction of the patches or, um, or the, pre uh, the AVS presets. Uh, that's because uh, my uh, I wanted to mix together. I wanted to record. I'm recording my audio and my stereo mix uh, with with virtual audio cable which has quite a long latency <coughs> so let's start up uh, MD mix with the UI batch file that is the user interface don't bother yourself with this don't bother with this error doesn't really interfere with the working of the software and I don't really know and I don't really care what it is about it's just ugly uh, here uh, what I've just done is just selecting the uh, audio input um, this is what I'm recording at so the stereo mix will be much more cleaner and have much uh, shorter latency and uh, this is the user interface um, so to be some meaning for it uh, I will start the renderer clicking here with double click As you can see it started the renderer and the user interface are on a separate thread <coughs> because um, if I do anything with the user interface or the main loop freezes uh, or the main loop of the user interface phase freezes the renderer will continue happily and uh, this is the window what the audience sees eventually just putting on maximize and uh, setting the control rate so this is what the audience eventually sees and the second screen of course so let's jump let's st let's start some content oh yes before starting anything else let's add more slots let's add more services uh, for the mixer I guess right clicking and again pops up this menu and uh, I can delete or add uh, another slot or select by left clicking on the menu oh yes select so by left clicking on the menu yes I will leave it there so let's start an action play which will host AVS for me and let's start some stupid music. <laughs> and okay, it's not stupid, it's Casey of course. Urlik. Yes, Urlik Ready uh, album. So, yes, Ready by Urlik. That's the album. Sorry for my English. Uh, I don't know what's, what's with me. Probably it's not the best time to make tutorials, but. Uh, I don't really have time for other stuff. Another time. 
So double click on a, on a slot and uh, hover the mouse on the window you want to capture and click again and the slot is fixed inside as you can see it has the handle, the window handle and the name of the, of the window in the menu this is nothing special yet, just let's start two more AVSs some other presents there is a bug I don't know why and I thought I've uh, and I thought I fixed it already but apparently I'm not. Oh, I didn't. So I will have to work on that. So, uh, what makes what this mixer does? <coughs> mm, this fader mixes together this image, these two images. This fader mixes together these two images. And this fader mixes together the results of the previously mentioned mixes to the final image of what you can see in this renderer. And uh, the audience sees this renderer on the full screen, or uh, I, I prefer it uh, on, a, on a fake full screen, just a maximized window without borders. Uh, it's it's a little bit more stable uh, in my experience oh, yes I experienced so with the right click on the fader you can select the blending mode so let's just select some fancy one uh, this this will be good So as you can see, if uh, when the slider was on the or when the fader was uh, on the leftmost part, the uh, this image was displayed in the output. When it's on the middle, the two images are blended together with the selected blending mode. And if I fade to the rightmost side, uh, this wasn't the best uh, choice. So if I fade to the rightmost side, uh, the renderer will output the rightmost image so this is just uh, this is just the, these two basically these images uh, we, we, we are playing with this uh, channel or mixing channel but what with this one uh, down here uh, well we will select another uh, this will be good for us Uh, I like this heat eventually, but So as you can see, now all the images are uh, visible in the same, are, are equally visible inside the output image, inside the master image. So this is mixed together, and then this is mixed together, and then the both both of the mixes are mixed together to the final image with three sliders. It's like with if you have uh, three edit or V4. Hardwares. So, on, uh, on some basic color correction, we will just uh, fade to here. 
these columns you see uh, next to next to all the images are for the color correction uh, techniques or color correction uh, with the dragging the left mouse button uh, vertically changes the the hue horizontally changes the hue cycles which comes sometimes very handy um, dragging the right mouse button horizontally will change the minimum lightness and dragging vertically will change the maximum lightness so if I drag uh, the mouse, drag the right but right mouse button or diagonally, I can change the contrast. Dragging the middle mouse button vertically will change the saturation, and uh, I, I as every with every values here on the color correction, I can go inside negative space as well, so I can invert everything eventually. Like this, double mid, double clicking with all the mouse buttons uh, resets its uh, corresponding um, color correction value. So I can reset the hue and the hue cycles with the left mouse button, the lightness with the right mouse button, and the saturation with the middle mouse button. Double clicking. Also, if I drag the middle mouse button horizontally. I can invert the whole image. It's the force invert, but I can uh, I can produce the same effect. Just dragging this, uh, dragging the lightness diagonally to the right bottom part, so, so to the direction of the right bottom part. So that's for the first tutorial. On the second tutorial, we will cover basic transformations of uh, um, basic transformations of the images, and we will go inside uh, more details of the user interface. Um, thank you, and really sorry for my English.